Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornica today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to talk about the big news of today, which was the fact that Go's Score Bunny finally evolved, okay? And then we're also going to talk a little bit about the next episode, which is actually Ash finally going to compete in some gym badges in order to earn points, I guess, in order to compete and qualify for the World Championship, the World Tournament. So it seems that it's not going for badges, he's going for like these this points or whatever. He has to beat a certain amount of trainers to gain a certain amount of points in order to participate, I'm, I guess what I'm reading. So it's going to be kind of interesting. He's going to Vermilion City Gym, which he's already defeated Lieutenant Surge before, but apparently uh, Lieutenant Surge is one of the people he could face or whatever. But right now, Lieutenant Surge isn't there for some freaking reason, okay? He went off on vacation, so his replacement is there. So I guess Ash is going to battle his replacement. We'll talk about that later or in a different review or maybe at the end of this one. But we're going to focus mainly on uh, Go and his Score Bunny. So Score Bunny finally evolved, okay? And the reason why it evolved is because it wanted to learn a fire move. And it tried so very, very hard to. You know, that Darmano Chan was teasing it, making fun of it for not knowing a fire move despite it being a fire type Pokemon. And Score Bunny took big offense to this and kept trying to huff and puff and, you know, blow out an Ember attack, but he just couldn't do it. And Go kept trying to connect with it and saying, no, you know, you don't need to learn a fire move. You know, you're fine with your legs. Your legs are powerful enough. Like, Score Bunny uh, doesn't listen to Go and gets really upset at the fact that Go isn't helping it uh, learn a fire move. And so it runs off and starts to hate Go for not, like, you know, supporting it and whatnot. And eventually, once uh, Score Bunny is actually able to blow out like a, a you know, an actual fire out of its mouth a little bit, it starts getting excited and wants to go show Go. You know, and wants to prove its worth and all that. And when he tries to show Go, Go is like completely ignoring him and thinking everything is fine. Meanwhile, <laughs> it's not fine, and Score Bunny is just getting pissed off. He eventually connects to Score Bunny at the very end, where he's fighting Team Rocket, and. You know, he was able to show that it could, you know, create fire with its feet, and they were able to learn a new fire move, but only not through its, but not through its mouth, technically. It was through its feet, of course. He was able to create a fire-type move. And even though he evolved after doing so, after learning how to do that, he still had, I guess, a bad taste in his mouth, Score Bunny did, for Go, and he just kind of, like, emo walked out in the last frame of the, <laughs> of the episode. So, how is this gonna go? It seems that, you know, the Score Bunny just kind of looks like that kind of rebellious teenager, like, emo-looking, like, I'm too good for everyone kind of look, you know? And maybe that's just gonna be the way he is. That's just the personality of that Pokemon. Or it could be a Charmeleon sort of situation, you know, a Charizard situation where he just kind of ignores. But I don't think he's gonna hate Go, because he still listened to Go despite evolving. So I, I think it's more of like he just he's just mad at him. I don't think he hates him like Charmeleon or Charizard did, but he's just mad at him for not listening to him and not, you know, supporting him and whatnot. So I think Go is going to eventually connect with Raboot and they're gonna be best buddies again pretty quickly, I think. I don't think it's gonna like drag on forever like Charmeleon and Charizard were. I think it's going to be a bit different, I think it's going to be pretty quick, and they're going to resolve this pretty quickly, I, especially since it's also think that Raboot is going to stay at Raboot for quite a while, considering it evolved pretty early, so I'm going to guess that it's going to stay at Raboot for the majority of the series, and maybe evolve into Cinderace, maybe past episode 80, I would think, and so around that range, I'm going to guess, but, uh, if, if not, if he evolves early within the next 18 episodes or something, he evolves before episode 40, I would be surprised. Like, that's a fast evolution. In regards to that, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can post in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings about, you know, the evolution. How do you think the relationship between Go and Raboot are going to go? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, you guys can post in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings about that. When do you think he's going to evolve into Cinderace? and all that. Uh, how do you think about Go's character in general? I think it's still pretty interesting that, you know, this is the only companion Ash has, really, is Go in this series. I mean, Koharu, I guess a little bit, but it's mainly just Go, and that's what's really, really different about this series compared to others, is that Go is 
the only companion, so you'd think there would be a lot more focus on him, which there has been. I mean, he has many captures. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, yes, post it in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings about Go. How do you think this relationship with Raboot's gonna go? Okay. Do you think Raboot's gonna evolve pretty quickly? Do you think it's just going through some stage in its life? Do you think that that's just the personality of that type of Pokemon? Is it just gonna be like that? You know, like... There might not even be a reason why it's acting like that, because it seemed like Go and, Ra and you know Score Bunny kind of solved their quarrel towards the end when it finally did learn a fire move, and they kind of learned it together. So I don't know, I don't really get Raboot Steel. So I think it might just be a personality of that type of Pokemon, and it ha might have nothing to do with Go at that point. But I'm thinking it has a little bit to do with it. I wouldn't say completely because they did ultimately figure out a fire move together. Uh, despite their quarrel throughout the episode. So I feel like that's already been solved, you know what I mean? But maybe there's just more to cover in a future episode. But I do think their their relationship is going to turn around into a happier one uh, pretty quickly. At least compared to, you know, Ash, the one that Ash had with Charizard. We are also going to talk about Ash Ketchum, okay? So the next episode is going to be him versus the Vermilion City Gym. But Lieutenant Surge isn't there for some stupid reason, okay? He's off doing vacation or something like that. And he has a replacement, this Pisces. Pieces? Whatever the <laughs> Japanese name for this character is. Uh, that person is replacing Lieutenant Surge for the meantime. So Ash is going to face his Vermilion City gym, even though he's already faced it before in the Kanto region, of course. But now this is for you know, battle points. This is for enough points in order to qualify for the world championship. So he is going to go to battle with Pikachu and Gengar. So we finally get to see Gengar in battle, besides the one he had against Team Rocket, of course. Uh, so I would be really, really interested to see how that turns out. But it seems that both Pikachu and Gengar will fight, and both Raichu and Electrode from Pieces' side will fight as well. It seems Raichu is kind of mocking Pikachu. Uh, at the very beginning of the preview, so I'm gonna guess that there might be some sort of, you know, the whole thing about, you know, why didn't you evolve your Pikachu, and that thing's gonna come back up again. I know that they do that every now and then, because they want to reconfirm that Pikachu doesn't want to evolve, and then re, you know, reteach the lesson that, you know, you don't have to evolve to be strong, or whatever. It kind of gets boring seeing that over and over and over again, and, like, we get it, you know, but, like, of course I love to see Pikachu evolve, and I know that Team Rocket, apparently they sold the Thunderstone that Ash had, but like maybe they still hold on to it. Maybe they still have it, and maybe Pikachu will end up using it at some point. I don't know. To me, the only way Pikachu would end up evolving would to would be an extreme situation where like Ash's life was on the line and he had to evolve in order to get to Ash or something and or maybe something completely changes where Raichu is all of a sudden the world's most popular Pokemon you know one year and people are like oh you know we should change the mascot from Pikachu to Raichu I just don't think that Pikachu is going to evolve unless it was an extreme situation or it's the very very end of the series for Ash you know like his last battle where Pikachu finally evolves in order to win it and Ash finally becomes the world champion or Perhaps maybe it's like in a you know a spin off showing him in the future. And maybe Raichu is there instead of Pikachu. So maybe it would show off, you know, show it kind of like an off screen land, like, oh here's Raichu, so he did evolve the Pikachu. And maybe they could do something like that, but like branding wise, I just don't think Pikachu is ever going to evolve, sadly. I would love to see Raichu, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I do think they are probably going to mention Pikachu not evolving. In this next episode, of course. I don't know how much. I don't. I think, I honestly want to believe, too, that Pikachu should defeat Raichu this time. Because if he loses, I feel like then they might go into, like, oh, do you want to evolve Pikachu? And they might challenge him with, you know, taking the Thunderstone again. But if Pikachu beats Raichu, which I think is honestly going to happen, then I don't think there's any question about it. They might just mention it and be like, oh, yeah, see, Pikachu proves that he's stronger than Raichu only being in the Pikachu stage, yada, yada, yada. Personally, I believe that, you know, Pikachu to re reach his full potential, besides, you know, Gigamax and, you know, the Pika, the Pikachu Z-move and stuff, and I, I do believe in the base form that 
Pikachu's full potential will be reached once he evolves into Raichu, stat-wise, of course. But for anime purposes, of course, uh, Pikachu is probably just going to show that, he, you know, yet again, that yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay a Pikachu, and I just prove that I can beat this Raichu, and that proves it. All right, let's move on. You know what I mean? Like, they're just bringing it back up again for a split second, but then they're going to move on. Because And this is happening right after Go's score bunny evolves. So maybe it kind of fits in perfectly with them kind of mentioning it again that Pikachu uh, might evolve into Raichu or should evolve into Raichu uh, or could or whatever. And then Ash, you know, denouncing it or Pikachu saying no or whatever and explaining that again, you know. So whereas one scene, you know, Go evolved his, you know, score bunny and another one, they're like, no, we don't want to evolve the Pikachu. So it's kind of like comparing the two having those two episodes right next to each other kind of fits in to kind of talk about that stuff uh, but anyway ladies and gentlemen you guys post in the comment section below are you excited to see Gengar finally go to battle okay Pikachu I do think Pikachu is going to beat Raichu and then lose to Electrode and then Gengar is going to defeat Electrode but if from the previews and stuff it looked like it was just Raichu versus Pikachu and then Electrode versus Gengar so I'm guessing the battle between Raichu, that Raichu and Pikachu eventually get wiped out. And then there's Gengar and Electrode that are second. And whoever wins that ends up winning, which I do believe that Ash is going to end up winning this fight. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I love your faces. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. And peace off. Thank you very much.